Hello, everybody. Brian Garcia here at Acuity Solutions. Welcome to another blog post. Today's topic is Team Center on the Cloud. And I'm just going to review a few things that I've learned in the last few months here. Uh, Team Center on the Cloud has been around for quite some time now. Uh, my first experience was with uh, Amazon Web Services and getting things going in that environment on the cloud. And so in the last uh, few months and weeks, I've been uh, dabbling with a little another platform, the Google cloud platform. And so I'm just going to get right into it here and we'll start looking at that and see what that looks like and uh, just review a couple of team center uh, niceties and uh, and we'll, we'll jump right into it here. So let's get into our machine here. Well, this is that, the actual server that's going and my installation, but just a quick little review of the Google cloud platform. As you can see, I, you know, I've got an account here and I'm logged in and there's all kinds of feedback here and getting your, your server up and running. Currently right now, I just have one resource, uh, one instance that I've created, that's a Windows uh, Server 2006 uh, instance. I used a template to get that going. There's a lot of various templates to, to start off, and then uh, they're all at different price points, of course, depending on how you're configuring everything. But um, yeah, so, I, so I've got that uh, rolled out. And I've got SQL 2016 actually deployed in this instance as well. So, uh, so there's a, a little of the look and feel of the Google platform. This isn't going to be kind of any instructions on how to the ins and outs of this, but just wanted to show this to you and uh, and see what that looked like. So, getting back to our our actual server, I'm going to go ahead and open this up again. And so we've already got Team Center running here. And I'm logged in um, from one of my previous uh, posts. You know, we kind of went through the, the logging in and the different features. I'll highlight some of that here as well today. But you can see I'm logged in as my own name here, Brian, part of the engineering group, and I've got my author role. And so just uh, you know, this is out of the box. I have created a little bit of geometry here, and uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, so we're basically going to open up. You know, I've created this one file previously, and so um, I'm going to go ahead and and show you. You know, there's basically A, B, C, D, the different revisions here, and then if I open up the last revision, you can see that there's some other data in here. If I go ahead and and click on this, you can also see, you know, the different feedback here and the summary tab table here, you know, different properties and so forth. There's also in the details tab, as always, you know, I always say it's my cheat sheet here. You know, there's all kinds of different data that could populate inside your item revision. But this kind of tells you what the type is and, and kind of what each of these items or uh, data sets are. So I can see there's my UG master. Those are the NX part and the UG part as my drawing, along with my PDF file associated from this drawing, along with a JT uh, file, which if we click on that and go to the viewer tab, You've seen this before, but uh gives you the, kind of a lightweight view. If, if you're not a CAD user, you can get in here inside a team center and, and view the model. And, you know, if you're having a, a meeting of some sort, gives you kind of some talking papers in the in the 3D world. So, uh, so, you know, the first time that you click on this takes a little second to, to generate it. And so once you're in there, you can kind of zoom in and rotate. you got all the different features here. And so, so just a simple part that was created, and you can see all that. If we wanted to open that up in NX, you just double click that. And then here it is in your NX environment. And so you can start making changes to that as well. So uh, the, then I guess the one last step that I wanted to show you here is, you know, just a couple comments, you know, everyone thinks like team centers for, you know, you, you know, you're in this big design environment with a lot of different users and you need to collaborate. And yes, that's where it really excels. But to tell you the truth, the, the more times that we're talking to people out there, it seems like you know even you could just be a, a one-person operation designing things, and you know it, there's a lot of validity in having just team center in for a one-person operation because as we all know, time marches on. You know we've created all this data, and, uh, and there's all kinds of information that you're you're creating as you're working a project, and uh, many times you're going to want to go back you know months if not years and see what you reviewed and see if you can recycle some of that information and design data. And so the best way to keep track of that is in a team center environment where, you know, where you're controlling using revisions. And then also then, you know, all you have to do is, you know, click on your search operation here. And there's all kinds of different searches that are available to you. Um, 
and, and you can search on additional properties. So just, you know, just knowing a part number or a certain date, a range of, of a time that you created data in, you'll be able to find a, a lot of information very quickly. So kind of the beauty of Team Center there in a nutshell. So my final final uh, topic, I guess I want to review in here. So once, you know, if you actually deployed Team Center in the cloud and and you're starting to create new data, you may have some old data, legacy data that you want to, to import. So to do that, very simply is once you started NX in, uh, associated with or integrated with Team Center, you can simply go here to the file import assembly into Team Center. And so even though it says the word assembly, it means just any single file as well. This is just a, a tool to import data. So um, here's the interface and they've done a lot of work in kind of trying to populate this with a lot of different features over the years. But all we want to do is import this into a specific item. And I'm going to grab a part. I'm going to just browse out to the operating system level. So this is right directly on my desktop or, you know, it's on our file server. And we're going to send this information or this data into the SQL database and the Team Center database environment. So I'm just like simply picking my NX part that maybe has been created a long time ago. And uh, let's see here. I don't want that actually. Let's see. Okay, so we can, it's picking multiple parts here. Let me back out of there for a second. I'm gonna say import item. I think it's from a previous import. It's grabbing something else here. So, so we're gonna go ahead and go with it here. I'm gonna click okay. Again, it's going to import it into the into my uh, new stuff folder. So if I go into my home environment, I can see here's my new camera uh, data set. If I crack that open, I walk that down there. There it is. I go ahead and, and double click that. Come in at revision A. We've got a little camera body here that was created in the past. Um, I can go ahead and save that. And at the same time, I've got my settings to save these JT files as I go and design with. So now there it is in my environment, my Team Center database. And now I'm able to, to view this inside a Team Center visually with the JT data. So just wanted to give you a, a little high level view of a Team Center on the cloud and to kind of review some of the Team Center functionality and, and uh, all the different possibilities, you know, depending on how big your workforce is. Um, and again, you know, don't, don't hesitate to to explore options, even if you're just a, a one person operation, there's definitely a, a ton of benefit here that you can uh, get from the Team Center solution. So, and if you have any questions, happy to address them all. You can contact us uh, through the website in one on one here. I'm happy to answer any or field any questions that you might have. And so, uh, thanks again for uh, visiting our blog site. We try to post as much content as we can here. And as we discover things, um, put it out there into the into the environment there so you can you can see it and uh and please uh send any requests and we're happy to you know even if it's something that we haven't looked at before we've got a lot of resources available to us and we're happy to review any questions and and deal with any anything that's coming up on your end so again thanks for your time thanks for uh and you know, visiting uh, the blog site and we'll talk to you on the support line if not on email have a great day everybody